Oh, uh, let's play d4 this time. I'll play traditional classical chess. Let's play Queen's Gambit. Okay, he plays the Queen's Gambit accepted, so now I take the big center. Then you have Frischrick for the tier one, Schnauzer Bob with the prime, Bill of the Gibob for the prime, Canadian Skids with the prime, New Racket with the prime, Dillo with the prime, Bingham Jew with the prime, DM Rapupa with the tier one, Hikaru's Banana Dream for the two months, then you have Marcato for the 700 bits, then you have Nakakwa for the three, three, $3, then you have S2G for the 420. Yeah, I'll watch clips later. Not, not right now, but I'll watch all of it later. Probably in like uh, two hours or so. Once, once we get through the bet, see if I can get to 1,000 or not. So now I take if he takes, I take him with the uh, throbbing checkmate with the bishop and the queen. If he doesn't, I can maybe take anyway and check and then win the bishop on g4. Okay, he plays queen d4. Now I know this is not a move, but the question is why is this not a move? It's very creative. If I take with the knight, he takes my queen, but I think I. No, that was the wrong move. I think queen b3. Why is that not a move, actually? I'm really confused. Maybe I just take on f7 first and go check. Yeah, I could take and then check and check. Very dank. Okay, let's take if takes. I take with the fork. He can't take with the queen because that puts the king in check. Oh, but he does. Okay, so now I take, I fork the king and the queen, and now that should be winning for me. Yeah, should be winning. So he probably takes, I bring the queen back, attack the pawn, try to win the rook in the corner. Let's just develop. He is he he has moved the king so he can't castrol and also his pieces are so undeveloped. He has four juicers that are five that are on the original square, so it's just castle. Let's go here. Castro oil, yes, castro oil. Let's go here, hit the pawn, maybe rook d1. Casserole actually sounds pretty good. Thank you to Mithrand here for the sub. Thank you so much, appreciate it. Thank you for thank you for the prime. Uh, let's play knight takes c7 next move. Uh, this is a free pawn, maybe just queen c3 and queen e5. Thank you, WP, W Price Esquire. Thank you for thank you for the uh, for the prime. Thank you. This is a speed run, yeah, yeah. Chad is laughing at XUC and 50% lose him. That's actually probably true. 50% would actually lose him. 50% Chad here, I think, would lose. He would, And it wouldn't even be close. He would just smash them. Did I watch Brady play yesterday? No, I didn't actually watch watch much. And I was thinking about, like, I'm not a fan of Brady, but, like, on the one hand, I was kind of happy to see him win because I, I've never really... I've always thought that Bill Belichick is very overrated as a head coach, and he just happened to have the best quarterback of all time. So, in a way, I was qu quite happy to see Brady win. Let's go to C5. Hot take? No, I mean, I think Belichick is very overrated. Very, very overrated. I don't. I mean, I don't like either of them, but I, I do think that like Belichick. I mean, I, I think like if, if if I was the if I was the head coach, I think if I had Brady as my quarterback, I could probably get a winning record. Honestly, like I mean, come on. <laughs> Let's go b six and bishop a six and knight a six here. Um, let's go Bishop A6 and Knight A6 here. This year really shows Bill is overrated. I just, I mean, I, I, I'm not saying he's like not a good coach, but when people say he's the greatest coach, I think it's because he had the greatest quarterback ever. Without, without, um, without, without Brady, I don't think Bell, Bell, I mean, maybe he's getting plus records, but he's never winning a Super Bowl. Is Phil Jackson overrated? I don't know. Hard to judge. Also, he had a lot of good teams. MacGyver, thank you. Appreciate it. 
Yeah, he went 11 and 5 with Matt Castle. That is true. Yes, he did have the 11 and 5 year. Well, weren't they stacked that year too, though? Didn't they? Didn't they still have like Randy Moss and all those guys? Or am I crazy? Let's go here. Let's keep going. Oh, let's play the French defense. Let's go here in 97, 96. Let's go here in 96. Um, B6 next move. Okay, I think I'm going to play a uh, 97 sort of line of threats towards both pawns. Let's go here, hit the pawn, hit the pawn. This knight is just uh, really, really good. I think I'm just going to... Hmm, I think I'm just going to take with the bishop. I don't even know if it's right, but it looks right. Am I gonna update the win counter? Sure, I'll update in a second. Um, what do we have? We have, uh, we have, um, one second. Wait, well, in three, I'll, or I'll just update it right now. Let's update, update, update it to 40. Okay, let's just take the juicer. I think I take and go here, here, maybe rook g8, b2. I also have bishop a6 to hit the rook. I mean, he wants the castle very hard. Let's go here, line it up. Let's go here to be tricky. Uh, thank you to Rich XXX. Uh, any advice for making the transition to 10-minute chess games to faster games? I mean, oof. I think it, I think t the the going from 10 minutes to like the blitz games, it's all about it's all about pattern recognitions. That's what it's all about. All about. I didn't miss mate in one. There was a queen on g4. Very funny. The queen covered e2. But thank you. Nice try though, you guys. Nice try. I think it's super GG. Thank you, Nade, for the seven. Thank you to Starquant for the prime. Thank you, to Will Price Esquire for the gifted sub. Thank you so much. Let's go here. Line up a right triangle, which basically is a double attack. Let's just take the juicer because Queen holds it. The bubble thing is driving me crazy. It's the, we're doing the eye tracker, you guys. So. I mean, it's it's at this at this point, it's not it's not. I mean, it's a little bit different, but but once I start playing the top guys, you're gonna see I'll be hovering over time. Then the square action will be a lot more uh, chaotic as well. Donation, I, uh, any advice? Yeah, I think it's um do do as many tactics as you can, tactics as you can. Make sure that your opening repertoire is very stable too. Like you know exactly what you're playing. Um. I think it's a great opening. I think Boy Boy is doing it as well. Boy Boy is playing the uh, playing the uh, Dutch defense a lot these days. He's been asking me actually about um, a, a lot of chess questions lately. Stop moving the mouse when you look. Well, I also make arrows at the same time. I just I multitask, so that's why. Okay, goes, let's go here, create a double attack towards the queen towards the pawn. More than seven pairs of socks? No, why would I? Thank you, Jamron, for the prime. Thank you, Seagrove, for the 300 bits. Thank you, Mr. G Live, for the $3. No, I'm in California. I, I, I wear sandals. I wear sandals like a proper hippie. Let's go, Bishop B5. Let's keep going. Uh, let's play D4 here. Let's go, Bishop F4. Let's play the London system here. Maybe E3, maybe C3 next move. Um, yeah, let's just play standard London. Well, 
why am i calling it the london uh well i'm going to change it up a little bit into a different setup here but yeah london um london system is uh is a system where you create the pawn chain with these three pawns and then you bring the bishop out as well this guy actually knows theory which is kind of funny he plays bishop e6 pretty funny let's go rook c1 let's go here i wanted to finish my development i might play h4 h5 at some point depends I also have queen b3 here to hit the pawns as well classic uh classic pyramid yeah let's just go for it someone in chat said it anyway so why not okay knight h5 that's a good move mm. place f5 very good move um let's go back i want to go knight g5 hit the bishop hit the knight Okay, he blunders the pawn, so now I should win. They need a free range tom for the prime thing so much. Um I'm just gonna take and I'm gonna look for bishop c4 to hit the king and open up the diagonal too. Uh, yeah I have been to Denmark I played a tournament in um uh where was it it was um was it in Copenhagen I'm not sure I think it was but I'm not I'm not certain of that but yeah I, I have been there now I have 96 I also just I guess I go here that's a free queen thank you very much my friend okay let's let's play the dutch defense someone asked me about it let's play the dutch let's develop our juicers d6 bishop g7 oh he plays f3 to build the build the center again as a, as a newer player you don't want to push this pawn to the left of the king you really open yourself up to big threats on this h4 h4 square and this diagonal down towards the king so it's very dangerous pushing this pawn to the uh to the left of the king castle and he's gonna get in trouble really fast here too in the next move or two as well because now I go e4 he takes I take back and the problem is now he's gonna have to deal with ideas where he doesn't get to castles King again it, it, he's getting into trouble because as I said before I get this diagonal from from h4 to where I hit the King and I hit the Bishop all at the same time now this is the only way to save it but now I go here and the problem is if he moves the bishop I take he takes and he, he loses the rook in the corner as well uh his bishop's under attack he goes here I take I think he's just lost basically um that's not quite right let's just take the queen pretty unfortunate let's keep going okay let's play um let's play the grob defense this time Okay, if he takes a juicer he loses this one okay now I'll, I'll target the horse with this pawn let's go d4 maybe e4 maybe h4 let's go all in let's just attack let's keep going this is not how you want i mean to everyone who's at home this is not how you want to normally play play uh let's go check i'm gonna try to be really dirty here i go queen d3 and i'm th i think i might even already be winning i'm threatening this this king is really air really in bad shape so I mean there's so many threats towards the king with the pawn and the bishop oh he blunders check check and mate all right thank you to Kruger Hamsel for the three dollars thank you so much appreciate it let's go e5 let's play knight c6 you think puzzle rush would be so much clearer with the eye tracker I mean I can do some I can try some puzzle rush at some point um but just for the next like hour and a half since we do have a bet on um on whether uh, I'm gonna get to 1000 I mean we have to we have to uh do that first because otherwise everyone's gonna riot you, I mean you, you can't make a bet and then and then not 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 finish it or see what happens let's play and peasant let's go here 
if i do puzzle rush later though probably what i'll do is i'll do i'll do it um i will do it uh probably i will do um uh, i'll probably i'll probably what was i gonna say i'll do i'll do i won't do survival i'll do time because that's where it'll be really interesting to see uh is I'll, I'll do time puzzle rush there was a bet yes that we would channel points whether i can get to 1000 by 2 p.m pacific or 5 p.m eastern which is an hour 24 minutes away i think i'm i think probably i should get there it's like 168 but still it's not it's not guaranteed thank you cmc falls for the prime and damn glorious for the prime thank you so much let's go here line them up and maybe queen f5 or queen f7 let's go here line up the triple stack and now let's go here maximum pressure i also have this he's in really bad shape here Okay, unfortunately now I just take and this is pretty unfortunate let's take let's take chuck chuck Okay, let's play uh, the St. George and the Green Dragon defense again. Play a6, b5, and bishop b7. No, St. George, uh, this is a much better opening. I don't know what queen f5 does exactly. Okay, he keeps giving me tempo, so I keep developing my juicers, and he's wasting a lot of time with his queen here. <laughs> these names have to be fake <laughs> why do these names have to be fake you guys these names don't have to be fake come on let's be serious uh oh oh boy oh boy oh boy let's take the night let's go here um <laughs> tsm worth 500 million uh was there some new list put out or something okay that's more free material i will just keep eating we want mind tracker speed run next next time mind tracker i don't think that's possible at least not with today's technology yeah i'm, I'm eating all of his pieces here i'm very hungry uh let's just go here hit the bishop maybe i just castle next move Okay, I guess I just take the juicer. I'm trying to run my horses in to checkmate him. Uh, thank you to El Snook for the Prime. Thank you to Crockett for the Tier 1. Lat Excalibur for the Tier 1. Fonzarelli for the 2 months. Okay, I'm going to get it, actually. Let's go here. This is beautiful. Okay, stops it temporarily, but he can't stop it again. He can go bishop f5, maybe. But it's just, it's this is kind of like the Arabian checkmate with the two horses and the queen. Thank you to Huts for the 300 bits. Thank you so much to Huts. Yeah, okay, just take it now. It's just, he can still play g4, but it's just, it's checkmate. Okay, let's play e4 this time okay 956 nice rating okay let's play the spanish defense the rui lopez let's play c3 bishop a4 or d4 i don't know if this is actually good uh he kind of trapped his knight i think i just go back and the knight has no squares i cover them both with my pawn and with my bishop and he's gonna lose the knight Just take. Okay, I think I can just castle play knight e2, knight c4. Now I just have to defend. Let's go here, knight e3, maybe knight g5. 
If here I just move the knight, maybe bishop e3, maybe knight e3, knight e5 also. Take the square in the center, a uh, lot of threats. If he goes f5, I think I play knight g5 to hit the knight and guard the pawn. Oh, let's go knight g5 anyway. I don't think I missed any forks, but it should be winning. Let's go check and rook d1, I guess. Again, two bishops, queen, it's all too strong here. Too much materials. This K factor starts at the regular one where you only gain like five points for a win. Because otherwise, the rating goes up way too fast. Um, so we always try to make sure the rating is set correctly. Okay, let's go here. I'm going to try to ladder him on the 8th rank. Thank you to um, Corrupted for the 6 months online topic for the 2. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you. Keep going, let's play the birds. <laughs> okay, let's play knight f3 and e3 and d4 here. I mean, I, you guys, it's not that hard. You just predict the future. You know where your opponent's gonna move and you predict the future. It's not It's not all that wow. It's not that surprising. Let's go knight d2 and bishop e2. <laughs> um, flex harder, yeah, flex harder, yeah. Okay, we're playing a Stonewall Jackson here. Uh, basically, I've set up all my pawns in the dark squares, and this 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 bishop especially is really important with the pawn formation around it. Yeah, just predict the future. It's not that hard, exactly. Let's go 95. So I just take. I'm not too good, actually. I mean, I've lost a lot of games against someone named Magnus Carlson, so I'm not actually that good. But hey, I try to do my best. Um, I can play e4 here. I also have h3 maybe at some moment. Um, let's go e4. What are the next What are the next numbers for the lottery? If I knew the next numbers for the lottery, you guys, I literally would uh, I would win the lottery the next like five times, and then I would I would buy my island and I'd invite everyone who's watching to to move there. It's like tax free, you know, just just go move to the island. Oops. Oops, that's a free queen. I mean, what does an island run for these days? Like a few hundred million dollars? There's got to be some islands in like the British Virgin Islands or somewhere, right? How much did uh, fi the the uh, the how much is the island that they were gonna do fire the the fire festival cost? That's for sale, right? EF four nine three. Let's go here. Maybe D3 and castles. No, I mean, there was some, uh, there was Pablo Escobar's island, like wherever, was it Jamaica or Bahamas, where they want to do the fire fire festival. Um, by the way, that was a, that documentary was something else, by the way. But anyway, um, like, uh, I mean, it wasn't it for self or something reasonable. The fire island thing, it's 11.8 million. Okay. Oh, that's not bad. Yeah, you actually only need to win the lottery once when it's like a one billion dollars. That's not bad at all. Just take the pawn. Oh, islands are cheap now, but rising ocean levels. Oh, right. Yeah, true, true. Just castle. So catch one. Maybe C three D four here. Let's go here in D four. Maybe d5 next move. Actually, I'm going to go queen e2, cover the squares b4, knight c6, d5. I also have knight e5 at some moment as well. Let's just drop back. I, I want to open this uh, file for my rook. Hmm, okay, let's go knight e5.
I might get a uh, smothered checkmate here. Oh, he goes there. That's kind of annoying. I didn't think he would do that. I mean, I guess I go rookie one, queen c4. That's yeah, good, but it's not. It's not fabulous. According to NPR, someone did win the lottery. I thought. I mean, of course, you have to win the lottery because at some point someone has to win. It's just a question of who. But unfortunately, I have not won the lottery yet. Unfortunately, I've played it a handful of times. So I've never won it. Very sadly. Oh, uh, that's a free rook here. Let's just take it. Can I do a queen sack? Already players are pretty good. I'm not sure that I can get away with it. Because okay, just checkmate. Let's keep going. I'm going to change the score. I'm going to mark it up as uh, uh, as 50. One second. Let me mark this up. Uh, let's play... Let's play the Owens defense, named after Clive Owen, the actor. Let's play Bishop B6, Bishop B7, try to use a diagonal, maybe E6 next move. Uh, maybe Bishop B4, maybe Knight F6. Let's just go Bishop B4 here. Uh, let's just take and take a juicer. I think people are too good already to give queen odds. I thought it was named after Jesse Owens. <laughs> Oh my god, did you really just say that, dude? Oh my god. Play D6 here. <laughs> okay, okay, um, okay. Uh, yeah. Yes. This bubble thing is annoying. It's an eye tracker, so people can see where I'm looking at the screen as I play. Uh, I think people like I, they're kind of curious to see where I'm looking at. We also made it made a promise that at 50,000 subs we would look uh, or 50,000 subs on on the second YouTube channel, more Jam Hikaru, we would do an eye tracker speed run. Let's go rookie eight, c5, d5, maybe at some point. Again, my pawns are going to start to put pressure on his bishops. He's got a lot of clumsy clumsy bishops and and, and a very weird knight. So I'm just going to start pushing them back with my pawns. What's the bubble? It's where I'm looking on the screen as I play the game. Now at this point, like I'm more or less, I can look, I'm looking randomly, but there's going to come a point in the not so distant future when I start having to look very, very carefully at the clock. For example, like you see how I'm looking at the clock up here, uh, or I'll be looking at the ratings, you know, over here. Let's go C5 and takes. Maybe C4, try to trap the bishop. Both of these bishops are very clumsy here. Let's take with the queen. But yeah, it just tracks your eye movement, basically. I'm going to play C4. Queen d4, maybe queen f4, maybe rook d8. I also think, I, I also suspect that when I'm looking at the board, I don't look squarely at every, I, I don't look completely in the center or at the square of every every single spot on the board. I'm, I'm generally looking like sort of in between, which is why you never see me like hovering over a specific square because I don't really troll, I, um, I don't, um, not troll, I don't, um, I don't tunnel, I don't tunnel on a square. Let's just take with the bishop. Tunnel's the word I was looking for. Thirty-two K watching chess in twenty twenty-one. Yeah, it's it's amazing, amazing times, you guys. Great times for the game of chess. Okay, takes I take the knight I guess I go to a6 hit the rook I could have gone rook b8 to fossil him first but I think it's still very very good let's go here where's the tracker it's uh it's, it's placed on my computer it's like it's it's a, it's uh it's just attached to to my monitor okay that's a free rook
Let's play the modern defense here. Let's let's open let's open with G6. Okay, he's trying to go for the throbbing checkmate, but I cut him off. He does have queen f3 here, but I can think I can just go knight f6 or even f6 potentially. So let's go here. Thank you to Relentless Pegasus for the Prime. Miguel Agosto for the Prime. Thank you to C. Griff for the 300 bits. Thank you so much. Um, let's go check, hit the king, hit the bishop. He blocks, and I play d4. This is actually a pretty common theme here. Although the funny thing is it's not actually great. He had queen f3 to create a double-double. Um, he could have gone queen f3 to hit the pawn here and pawn here, and then... That was maybe very unclear, but instead he does this, now I just win. Daniel Narodinsky, yes, he is a prophet. Uh, let's just eat the juicer. Let's take with the queen. Uh, let's just eat the juicer. Although I gave him this. Queen e5 is made better, but anyway, we keep going. He can take the pawn, but I just go rookie eight, trade some rooks. So he takes, and I get a potented ice skater in the back here. So this is pretty good for me. Uh, let's just go back. I, I don't even know if this is necessary, but it seems reasonable. Just to consolidate, I have three extra minor pieces, the three, the two bishops and the horse. Um, so I just need to make sure I put them on good squares. Let's go here. Now I'm threatening the potented ice skater down here. He stops it, so I'll go here. I'll try to recreate it. I think it's shopping for the prime. Okay, let's go here. Okay, let's keep going. 